Mark Crossgrove, there he is. Uh, got a seam up. position. And then gets a little bit of turn. Just played well. Just using the pace of that center delivery. Guiding it away for three. That's well run as well. It's a good pick it all round. It's such that will be turning the ball with the spin. Is it gone? Yes, good catch. How does Dan sing? Wicket number two for him. And this is what India want. They want wickets to get back into the match. Fabulous performance by Harbhajan Singh. Good captaincy. Rahul Dravid searching for that wicket. His main strike bowler, Harbhajan Singh, needs wickets. Had himself in slip. A little bit of away spin. But he did guide it in that direction as well. Costco would be very disappointed with that shot. But Rahul Dravid on top of his job. A wicket that they wanted. Five down now, Australia. 167 for five. And in the first game against the West Indies, scoring quick runs towards the end of the innings. A little bit more in the pitch today for the spinners, Aaron, you think? Or... Yes! Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call is for two. And these two provide so much energy between the wickets, they don't need a second invitation. 33 of us gone, 171 for five. Well, he's gone inside out, good footwork, and he's got it through, so that's a wonderful boundary. It's a good shot. Just see him get himself just inside the line, open the face of the bat, and a hit it through the offside there. There's no one sweeping, no long off. It's a good shot against the... That brings up the 200 for the Australians. 200 at a run rate of 4.92. The fourth 50 taking the longest. It is a good indication of some tight discipline bowling by the Indies. 93 balls. Ah! Oh, and that's out. That is very, very well done. Brilliantly done by Saywag. Managing to get hold of the ball and flicking it back at the stumps. And he did that before Haddon could get back. Haddon obviously thought there was going to be a run here. Just watch this. It's good, good cricket. Excellent reaction. Brad Haddon was taking a long start. And Brenda Sivak reacted quickly in time. The important thing also hit Bullseye. Good innings from Brad Haddon comes to an end. Australia, 200 for six. Well, he found the outside edge and uh, fingertip stuff. Continuing. Oh, that's too short. That is far too short. That's bad bowling. And uh, these guys get stuck into those short balls. That was a magnificent pull shot. He was onto it so quickly. Well, you can't bowl bad balls on any pitch, more so on this, to a well-settled batsman. He was on to the front foot initially, but I had enough time to make the adjustment. And as a bowler, when you're pulled in front of square on the leg side towards mid-wicket, you know... You That's in the air. It's going to be out. It's up in the air. And easily taken. Rainer takes the catch. Nicely taken. They needed that wicket too because Clark's the sort of bloke that can do some damage towards the end. I think you have a lot of boundaries towards the end. Can change events for Manav Patel and finally he deserves the success that he's got just now. And the big wicket of Michael Clark. Good catch in the deep by Suresh Rana. And Indians breathe a sigh of relief seeing the back of this man. Good knock for Michael Clark. 34 7. And uh, really quite threatening weather here in the bottom. That's the outside edge, he's got to go. Well bowled, Ajit Agarkar. The outside edge is coming down a little heavier now. So the Indians 
getting wickets at regular intervals. Mitchell Johnson just trying to run this one away off Agaka. And again, it's just a little bit of extra bounce. Agaka's bowled a great length. And Donny, well, he holds on to one for a change. Johnson gone for one. Stuart Clark. Still about three overs to go. Together. Murmajan and Sehwag. Well, that's gone through. They haven't managed to protect that one. Yuvraj Singh really missed it. Four to end the over. That is hit in the air. There's a fielder getting under it. He's got to go. That's wicket number nine. R.P. Singh under it. Takes it very safely. Munaf Patel, another success to him. Ending very nicely for the Indians. Australia at one stage are looking uh, in the thick of it to get 300 and plenty. But, uh, just stalling here in the death overs. Simple catch. Stuart Clark has to go for seven. 2.43 for nine. struggled for 12 of 24 deliveries Australia not really able to get any impetus into the innings for the last 19.2 overs it's as if they panicked a little bit at the tail didn't it uh, Bish because they realised first they match it. of the tournament for India he's in good form and the wall probably India's most consistent batsman over the last few years at the top of the innings, overs, they conceded six wickets for 83 runs. Wow, giving him the charge. We've seen that before. Five overs gone, 16 without loss. Well, counter-attack there from Sachin Tendulkar. McGrath has uh, been calling the tune. Great shot, great shot, very quick hands from Rao Dragon. It's really a hard planted sort of short delivery, not a genuine bouncer, I think, from Johnson. Brings the light. Don't keep the Indians happy. The Indian captain, he's been in good touch. He's on to it a fraction late. At the point remains, he made very good contact. Wazim Akram, the former Pakistani captain, who took some observation in picking up a momentum. Out! Raul Javid is gone. Damian Martin takes a simple catch. That cover, Johnson strikes. Well, the Indian part of the crowd has gone quiet. This is an important wicket. A man in good form, the captain at the top. It wasn't a half ball, he was trying to hit it on the up, getting the toe end of the bat. And a straightforward cast to Damon Martin, providing Australia with a breakthrough that they needed so early yes. after the deception. West Indies a couple of nights ago got a half century and will be called on to do the same here again. Didn't have a, as good an outing with the ball earlier in the day as he would have hoped. It was expensive again. But he can make a contribution with the bat here as all rounders do have the opportunities to do. Johnson. Knocked it over. Short lift. What a spiteful spell from Mitchell Johnson. And in the dribble, in near in trouble. And what a start. Really was a great delivery first up. He was all charged up after picking up the first wicket. What a delivery, first up to Irfan Patan. No movement of the feet, it was in the right channel, just marginally short of a leg, off stump, and isn't he delighted? He realizes the importance of these back to back wickets for Australia, and Mitchell Johnson is on a roll. Patan gone. Up and over now. He's gone all the way for six. For a brief moment, Cosgrove down at third man thought, this is coming my way. Doesn't have enough to get to the boundary. Bad night. Should push hard for three. No, says Tendulkar. Could be trouble. Trouble. Oh. Sehwag is gone. 
What a mix-up. Is this panic? Disaster for India. Unbelievable. Stunned silence in the crowd. The Australians are enjoying this. Bring the save out. Well, thought there was three in this. In fact, running the second run very hard indeed, looking for the third. And Sachin says no, but we're in the Sevak hardly hears him. A straightforward take for Brad Haddon. And on the Australia's jubilant. Realize the importance of the wicket of the dangerous win in the Sevak. So wickets falling in a hurry to India. Yes, Tendulkar has missed. What a spell. Little Jordan is having. Tendulkar looking to go through the outside. Getting the outside edge. And a straightforward catch. To Brad Haddon. Three for none for Mitchell Johnson in four deliveries. It's a basic line, lack of foot movement, just the angle across the right handed Tendulka, inviting the drive. It was full enough, but the feet were stuck from the batsman Tendulka. And look at how much this means to Australia. Sachin Tendulka heads to the pavilion for 12. It's 34 for four. He's called upon now to probably play. Different type of innings in dire circumstances, and he's got a ball. That is a wicked delivery. The end of you, Braj. It's Johnson's night. Outstanding left arm fast bowling. It's been a real treat to watch. Not if you're an Indian supporter, not if you're an Indian batsman. His ball, exceptional line and length, and Phil Jakes makes a difficult catch look easy. And he's on a roll. Mitchell Johnson will remember this night for a long, long time. And you've not seen the parts for a duck. India in deep trouble. 35 for 5.